हॅलो स्टुडंट्स वेलकम टू लोकसत्ता यशस्वी भव नाव वी शेल डिस्कस सेक्शन बी विच कॅरीज थर्टी मार्क्स इन दिस व्हिडिओ सेशन वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन अँड क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ऑफ सेक्शन बी क्वेश्चन वन कॅरी सेवन मार्क्स अँड क्वेश्चन टू कॅरी सिक्स मार्क्स देर इज नो ऑप्शन इन दीज टू क्वेश्चन्स ऑल क्वेश्चन्स आर कंपल्सरी इन क्वेश्चन वन अँड क्वेश्चन टू क्वेश्चन वन क्वेश्चन्स इन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन कॅन बी ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह टाईप ऑफ क्वेश्चन्स दॅट इज फिल इन द ब्लँक्स ट्रू ऑफ फॉल्स मॅच द फॉलोइंग अॅनॉलॉजी एटसेट्रा वी विल स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन वन ऑफ द बोर्ड पेपर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फिल इन द ब्लँक्स ईस्ट रिप्रोड्यूसेस बाय डॅश द करेक्ट आन्सर इज बडिंग द सेकंड वन द प्रोसेस इन विच कार्बोनेट्स आर चेंज्ड इनटू ऑक्साइड्स बाय हीटिंग स्ट्रॉंगली इन एअर इज डॅश कॅल्सिनेशन इज द करेक्ट आन्सर ईच आन्सर कॅरीज वन मार्क स्टुडंट्स अवॉइड कॅन्सलेशन अँड ऑल्सो अवॉइड स्पेलिंग एरर्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दॅट इज बी is write the correct analogy or correlation carbohydrates matches to energy giving nutrients proteins matches to dash so the correct answer here is body building nutrients the next one for analogy is auxin matches to growth of plants whereas abscisic acid matches to dash inhibits growth of plants each of these carry one mark question c find the odd one out students remember you are not expected to write down the reason for the same you are only expected to identify the odd one and write down the correct answer ear muscles comma wisdom tooth comma coccyx comma developed brain the correct answer is developed brain as all the others are vestigial organs do not write down the reason it is important for you to reason out and then write down the correct answer this carries one mark the last question of question number 1 draw the structure of 1 2 dibromo ethane so here we shall now draw the structure students remember that you will be drawing the structure of ethane first and then substitute the two hydrogen atoms with bromine atoms so this is the correct structure of 1 2 dibromo ethane we shall now move on to question number 2 which carries 6 marks here again students remember there will be three questions of two marks each without any option all questions are compulsory the first question of question 2 is give reasons breathing rate increases during exercise vigorously the answer living body requires constant supply of energy the next point energy is in the form of atp that is released through oxidation of glucose in the cells the last point when there is vigorous, vigorous exercise done there is more need for atp and also more oxygen is required during cellular respiration so even if you write two points correct two points you will be getting one mark each for the correct two points the next question of question 2 is distinguish between diamond and graphite make two columns over here and write down the answer the first point of diamond it is the hard transparent shining substance whereas in case of graphite you will be writing it as soft opaque grayish black substance the second point of diamond the structure is a three dimensional structure of a tetrahedron whereas in case of graphite the structure is a hexagonal planar structure the third point of diamond it's a non conductor of electricity whereas in case of graphite it is a good conductor of electricity the last point of diamond it is a very very precious substance which is used in jewelry whereas in case of graphite you can write as it is used to make lead pencils and lubricants the last question of question 2 explain the reaction of calcium with water students here the reaction 
with complete balanced equation carries one mark and the explanation carries one mark. So here the reaction will be calcium that is Ca plus 2H2O gives CaOH twice plus hydrogen gas is liberated. You have to show and indicate it by an upward arrow. Explanation, calcium reacts with water less vigorously to form hydrogen and calcium hydroxide. Calcium starts floating because of bubbles of hydrogen gas released that stick to the surface of the metal. This explanation carries one mark. Students, you can also underline the substances that is the reactants and the products, names of the reactants and the products in the explanation. So here we have finished the discussion of question number one and two of section B. In the next session, we shall be discussing question number three and four which are long answer questions of section B.